Hello everybody and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. So, uh, my hopes and prayers worked out. We've got a absolutely beautiful clear night here in Middle Tennessee. I don't know where the clouds went that was here earlier, but they are gone. And I looked at the cloud cover radar and we have a huge gap right now that's going to allow me to image for a while. So it's not, I'm going to work on something I've had my eyes on for a very long time now. Pleiades M45. So you can see I've actually already got everything set up for the night. I'm already pulled our line, got my star alignment done. I've actually already started going and taking some shots on M45 as well. I went ahead and took a two minute exposure and it turned out really good. Just very, very minor star trailing in it. So I'm gonna try a three minute exposure and kind of see what it's looking like from there. I may have bumped it because I'm still kind of getting things set up here. But yeah, I wanna see what, what that looks like and just kind of go from there. I'm super excited to finally get a shot at Pleiades. It's something that I've that's really wowed me for a long time looking at your guys' pictures and everything online. And I'm just excited to see what the Z61 here can do. And I'm just also really excited too to actually finally have this new setup out. As you guys seen in my last video, I've got the uh, Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box going now. And this made setting up this mount just as easy as pie. I literally just drug the whole thing out here, got it balanced out, and plugged it up, and everything was ready to go. So I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. All in all, setup took me about 15 minutes probably, compared to probably about 45 minutes before getting everything hooked up and making sure the cords weren't all over the place. So here's our first three minute exposure coming up shortly. Let's see what we got. We do have some high clouds right now that's kind of trying to move into the area, but you can't even see them on the radar, so I'm guessing they're just kind of moving in and evaporating. So you can see straight through them, but it's just enough there to kind of throw off the pictures. So I'm actually about to go here and go ahead and do a meridian flip because it's coming, coming to that point, and go ahead and get my pictures kind of straightened back out and everything and let these clouds kind of pass. Alrighty, I finally got the meridian flipped. I, the first, that's actually the first time I've had to do that while imaging and I kind of messed it up the first go around. And uh, one of my cores got just a little snagged. You know, again, I'm still just getting used to this uh, Astro Box here. So I did kind of throw it off a little bit. I had to go back in, re a line and recalibrate and everything. So I guess the clear skies were just a bit too good to be true tonight. Uh, clouds have started pouring in pretty hot and heavy from the west here, west, northwest, and even on the cloud cover radar, they're starting to kind of pop up all over the place now. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably finish up a couple more frames here. It looks like I, I might can get in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my darks. Um, I'm not gonna have that much data all together, not that much usable data anyways. But I'm still gonna go ahead and go process everything and uh, just kind of go from there. And I'll still post it at the end of the video as always. Um, really tonight i think what i'm most happy with is just able to see the actual framing of pleiades in this uh z61 telescope i'm really happy with the field of view of it and i even turned it around to around at one point as you can see here and i really cannot wait to start working on Orion. it's coming over behind behind the trees here in the backyard and hopefully over the next couple weeks i'm going to be able to get my first really good shot at Orion. It's going to look absolutely amazing in the scope right here, and I just cannot wait to get some data on that. So, mistakes were made last night while I was getting my images. As you can see here on the screen now, everything's in JPEG. I accidentally forgot to turn my camera back into shooting uh, raw mode because I used it for a time lapse the other night. And uh, in the big rush, I pulled all my gear out last night. And I dis did not check to see if the camera was in raw mode. I just kind of assumed it was. 
And the number one rule in astral photography is don't get in a hurry and make sure everything is set up properly. So I was pretty bummed out to see that. And on top of that, I barely got any data that was worthwhile anyways. Uh, as you can see from some of these pictures here, like there was just enough clouds over to where you can't see any of the reflection nebula and the Pleiades appear what, whatsoever. And even a few of them here is just completely washed out. Uh, I'm still going to go in and attempt to stack these photos and edit them out and just kind of see what I can get. Hopefully I can get, you know, a decent picture. I've, I've never been able to capture any of the nebula in M45 and that's kind of my goal here is just to see if I can get anything usable. Uh, with what little bit I got and just a few dark frames, I may be able to get a little something. So I'm just going to edit it and see what I can get. But, uh, yeah, it's it's something i guess that's been one big fault of mine in this hobby i kind of set up everything in a rush sometimes whenever i see there's clear skies i just go out and set everything up and start shooting without really paying attention to the small details but i'll take whatever experience i can get with this this is my last shot at m45 by no means and the orion nebula is coming up not very far behind it hopefully i'll be able to get that here soon so as always guys Thank you all so much for watching and hope you enjoy.